What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about my Platinum Trophies on the PlayStation 4 for 2020. Let's get right into this. So this past year for 2020, I ended up beating my personal record for how many Platinums I earn in one year. The number right now is 17. Now there is still about two weeks left of December at the time I'm recording this video, but I honestly think anything that I may platinum, I might as well just wait until January for it to count for 2021. With that being said, let's get straight into this video because there is 17 games that I platinumed this past year. Let's get started. The first game is a carryover from the previous year, 2019, and that is a game called On Rush. This game here was a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot more fun to play with friends, and that's what I did. Me and Jack just basically grinded out on this game. The game was very interesting. Some of the trophies were harder, but still nothing that cannot be accomplished. And that was my first Platinum Trophy for 2020. The next one is a game called A Way Out, which is one of my favorite EA story games. This one here is one that you have to play with somebody. It is co-op campaign only, so you can't play this game on your own, but it is a game that is absolutely fun to play with a friend. And again, me and Jack played this game together, and this was Jack's first Platinum Trophy ever. He never earned a Platinum Trophy before this, which is honestly really sad and, to me, a little bit hilarious. But this game, regardless, is a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it. You basically follow these two guys that were escaping prison and you're basically on the run together and then at the end there is a huge twist but since I want you guys to play it I'm not going to spoil the end of this game because it is so crazy and it's something I didn't expect to happen definitely was a lot of fun the next game is a simple game that was really cheap and that is Hitman Go I've never played any of the Hitman games so whenever I downloaded it I thought it was going to be one of the early uh, Hitman games. However, this was basically one where you have a map of people, kind of like a board game, and you have to go through each level and get the platinum. It's fairly easy to do, but it's definitely not what I was expecting for my first Hitman game. The next game is Little Adventure on the Prairie. This is one of the simplest games that you can platinum, and I know it is a cheap platinum game, but I just at the time wanted to get a platinum, so I did it. This is a simple beat em up style game, really, really easy to do. The enemies barely even touch you, so it's definitely really quick to platinum. The next game, however, is from one of my favorite series, and that is Life is Strange Before the Storm. I absolutely loved the first Life is Strange game, and I got the platinum for that the year before. It was on sale for such a great deal, I decided to download it, and it was a lot of fun. It basically takes over the character of Chloe, which was from the first game, but this game's time period was before the events of the first game, so it was very interesting to develop the characters and see what the characters were truly about. I really, really, really love this game, and I, they're so easy to platinum the Life is Strange games. Next is another easy platinum, that is Attack of the Toy Tanks. Out of all of the easy platinums that you can get, this one, in my opinion, is one of the most fun ones. It's very interesting, easy concept. You're in control of a little toy tank, and you have to take out the enemies. It is super, super easy to do, and it doesn't take too long to get the platinum for this game. The next game is Rocket League. I know this game came out in 2015. However, I did not purchase it back then. I purchased it around this time, and then I ended up subscribing to PlayStation Now and realized that this game was included in PlayStation Now. But regardless, this game was a lot of fun. It only took me about two weeks to platinum the game, which is really grindy, but it's definitely something that can be accomplished within two weeks, just grinding out and going for all the trophies. And it's a lot of fun. It's basically soccer with rocket powered cars. What is not fun about that? It was honestly a blast. The next game is WWE 2K20, which is a milestone for me because my first ever platinum game was WWE 2K14. That was the first platinum trophy I ever earned. So to have it this many years later, have WWE 2K20 be a platinum and earn a platinum for that game was a lot of fun and definitely, definitely worth it. WWE 2K20, however, was a broken game upon release. But for me, the features that I loved, 
still works. Universe mode, create a championship, create a custom attire, doing stuff like that still work for me, and I still play the game to this day. However, a lot of broken features for this game, but it didn't affect me and it didn't affect any of the trophies to get the platinum for this game. The next game is the first platinum that I earned on a PlayStation Now game, and that is Toy Story Mania. It is basically a target practice game. It was originally on the PlayStation 3 in this Toy Story universe, and it was one that was dedicated to the PlayStation Move. So playing with a PS4 controller was a little wonky, but still very doable to get the Platinum. The next game was also on PlayStation Now, and that is Bridge Constructor. This game here is the same game that was on the app back in the day, back when I was in probably grade eight or something like that. So literally years ago, and it's the same exact levels as the app version was. So it's very easy to get the Platinum. There is a walkthrough, however, at the time I got the Platinum, I didn't realize there was a walkthrough. It took me a couple weeks to get the Platinum, but the walkthrough, you can get it done within, I guess, 10 hours or something like that, which was crazy, but I missed the ball on that one. The next game was, again, another PlayStation Now game, but that is Telltale's The Wolf Among Us. This is a game that I've wanted to play since I'm such a huge fan of the Telltale series. I just never got it back in the day, and I never played it at all until I got this game. Now, unlike the traditional Telltale games where you just play through the entire game and you'll earn the Platinum, you go through the entire game, you earn all of the trophies that you can, and then you have to go back to, I think it is two or three missions, and make specific decisions to earn specific trophies, and then you'll get the Platinum. So, honestly, the game was a lot of fun. I absolutely loved it. Very interesting how the trophies work compared to other Telltale games, but the story was amazing for this game, and I did get the Platinum out of it. Next is one of the easiest games that are on PlayStation Now for getting a Platinum Trophy, and it's the easiest racing game I've ever played. And that is Cars Racerama. It is so easy, and if you're struggling on any race, you can literally go through the options, put in a cheat code, and it unlocks all of the races. So instead of you going through race by race, and if you get stopped, you can't go to the next point, by putting all of the cheat codes in, you can skip a race and come back to it later, and that's what I did to get the Platinum. Super, super easy. I've never really been a fan of the Cars, but going in and playing this game where it's kind of like a 3D open world Cars universe game, I did like that concept, and that's why I wanted to go and Platinum this game, and it literally took one day to Platinum this game. Super, super easy for a racing game. Next is another Life is Strange game, and that is Life is Strange 2. In this game here, you're actually in control of completely separate characters from the first two games, except one of the characters still has powers similar to the characters from the first two games, which I thought was very, very interesting. I'm not gonna spoil anything about the game, but one of the characters from the first game makes an appearance and is part of the second game, Life is Strange, which technically is the third game, but regardless, this game was a lot of fun. They're so easy to platinum all three of the Life is Strange games, and I really hope that they make more games in the future because the story is amazing, the artwork of the game is amazing, and earning platinum trophies is a lot of fun with the Life is Strange series. The next game is another easy platinum, and that is Gravity Duck. Basically, it is a side-scroller game where by changing the gravity, you can go along the edges of kind of the map or the level and finish off the level. It's a super easy game. Definitely recommend it if you want an easy platinum because it is a lot of fun for a side-scroller and for an easy game. The next game is Bouncy Bullets, which is honestly a cheap crappy game, but one that if you're going to go and play it, if you've already purchased it before realizing what it is, you might as well go through and get the easy platinum out of it because it's super easy to get it. And if you have a PlayStation Vita, you can purchase it on the PlayStation 4 and get the Vita version for free and just download it on your Vita and get another platinum out of it. I mean, in my opinion, why not whenever you already get the game on the PS4? Even though you already have it and already got one Platinum, why not get it on the Vita too? Just because the game is so easy and so stupid, you might as well just go ahead and do that. The next game is Super Destronauts DX. Now I got this Platinum on the PlayStation 4, but this one here I got on the Vita because just like the last game, if you download on the PS4, you get the Vita version for free. Now back whenever I got this game, I did not have the Vita. But now that I do, I've been downloading some of the easy games or just some of the games in general that are included in my PS4 purchase. 
and now I have more games to trophy hunts on my PlayStation Vita. This game here is basically Space Invaders, just with newer graphics, and I absolutely loved this game. And the last game that I platinumed for 2020, which was the game that I grinded out the most this past year since it was released free for PS Plus back in, I think, July, and that is Star Wars Battlefronts 2. This is the first Star Wars game that I have played since the PlayStation 2 days, because I remember playing a few Star Wars games on the PlayStation 2 and absolutely loving them, but I haven't played a Star Wars game since. I'm not really diehard into the Star Wars universe, however this game here was definitely very interesting. I grinded out on it, I thought the story was amazing, and I ended up getting a lot of the trophies, even the three DLC trophies because they were included in the free PS Plus game when it was released in January or er, July, sorry. So not only did I get all of the trophies for the main game, but I got the final three ones that were included for DLC missions, which was very, very interesting. Now this game did have a lot of very hard trophies and ones that were near impossible and based on luck, but I managed to grind out and eventually get them and it was a lot of fun. So out of the 17 Platinums that I earned in 2020, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was by far the hardest one and the one that I grinded out the most just because of how difficult some of the trophies were for the game and how uncommon the events were to be able to get. For example, you had to defeat, I don't know what it is, maybe 20, 25 hero ships using a fighter jet. Hero ships were very rare to get online or to come across online. And for you to be able to defeat them before somebody on your team defeated them was such a challenge for me and definitely one that I had to grind out. The other one was getting to rank 50. However, they do have triple XP and double XP days, which definitely helped me get to rank 50. So I did grind out a lot on that game, but all of these games, in my opinion, were a lot of fun. I absolutely loved getting all of these trophies for 2020. All of these Platinums were a lot of fun. Yes, there was a few easy games, but I did beat my record from the previous year. I think last year, 2019, my record for most Platinums earned that year was 13. This year we have 17. So I'm really excited to see how many platinum trophies I can earn in 2021. I honestly think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe I will be able to match or beat this year. Who knows? I do have a lot of games, especially now that I have the PlayStation Vita, a lot of easy games on there that I can do, a lot of games that I purchased on the PS4 that I have yet to play. And I'm really excited to get going on trophies and get a lot more this year. This year I earned 1,200 trophies or a little over 1,200 trophies total and 17 platinum. So definitely think this year was amazing for gaming for me personally. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below how many platinum trophies you earned in 2020 and I'm gonna leave this video here. Please take care, peace.